Yo, 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 yo. You know, Happy New Year. Let me start that way. Because this is just a bright and happy new year. You know what I just think in my mind? That people are actually looking for solutions. But unfortunately, some of them don't know where to find it. In my small niche, which I would say it is architecture, engineering, and construction industry, I've had about, uh, if not more than about 23 years of uh, experience in the industry. This experience cuts across both the practice and their academia. And I found that a lot of people have need. Let me tell you something that will shock you. I got admission to study architecture even though my initial intention was to study civil engineering. Yeah, fair enough. I, I went ahead and continued with architecture. But I will tell you, I don't regret studying architecture or being an architect. One of the most toughest times I have had in life as a, a young person unmarried was when I was in the school of architecture. It was tough to a point that I knew I, I had a problem with my eye at my early years. When I was about three years old. But I used that same eye, one eye, to study architecture. Sometimes you don't have lights and you need to, there's no light in the school and you need to make submissions. I will still have to put on the candle to finish what I used to do. What I, I can also recall uh then there was no computers when we were doing our architecture in school then so for you to come up with your presentation you have to do your renderings with hand you draw it i was very good with colors and uh, my strokes and my lines were very good and uh, i was known as wonderful it actually played well for me during those days because once I bring out my work it will just be wonderful anyway to cut uh, the long story uh, short I want to encourage anyone, anyone who is in the line of thinking of studying architecture don't actually give up but there's something you need to know that the skills have changed some of us or some of us were smart enough to pick and there are others who did not pick up the changing skills i can tell you that at the time i i finished school and uh, i wanted to go into the industry to start uh, making money out of what i studied i realized that most of the uh, firms in Lagos which had moved to to go and start working were demanding skill, CAT skill. I was privy uh, during my youth service days to, to serve in an institution in the polytechnic actually and then I started learning AutoCAD but that wasn't really enough. When I returned back it was a serious uh, thing that everybody was just asking, ah, do you know how to use card? Do you know how to use card? So I called a few of my friends, which one are you using? One of them said he's using Akikad. One of my lecturers then, who's a prof now, and I hold him so much in high esteem because it's from him that uh, I got motivated, Professor Onyegiri. Uh, he was also using Akikad. So I picked up that software 
Actually, I picked it up before I went for service, uh, far back at uh, that, uh, 2003, when I had finished my first degree. But I eventually trained myself in that software. I didn't wait for anybody to train me. To a point, I got a call from one of my instructors then, when I could, he asked when I could use uh, uh, the CAD software. He used to call it by name, can you use ArchiCAD? I said, yes, I, I can use it. Then I, I, I was just appreciating it. Uh, I wouldn't say I was good, but I, I, I had a pre-appreciation. I could open the software, could just look at it and draw a line. So one night he gave me money to buy a foil and I, I got the foil, put in my generator. That's the one I used to call I passed my neighbor, which as a student was a big thing for, uh, for someone for someone who was a student then. Then I further got uh, uh, what was that? I think I got some snacks for myself that night. I stayed awake from 10 p.m when I had thrown my jet till 7 o'clock in the morning. I didn't blink my eyes. I was on the computer trying to resolve the work. You know what I was working on? I was working on a master plan and the work was virtually a two-dimensional work. Throughout that night, I, I would pick up my phone and call someone I, I knew. Uh, I think the, the young man is in Belgium now. Yeah. I called him and uh, he he picked up his call and told me, okay, you know what you do, no much explanation will be enough for you. Just go to what we call the help menu. I'm telling you, after that day, after that night rather, I had to print out the help menu because I wanted to be seeing what I'm doing while I'm, uh, instead of flipping, uh, uh, what do you call it? Windows. I was, I printed out over about, well, it was up to about 1000 pages. My ink finished, but I used it to study and learn Archicad. I started with Archicad 6. Uh, 6. 0, and I used Archicad 7.0, 7.1. Uh, 7 8.0, 9.0, 10.0, 11, 12, 13. I passed Akika 14, I didn't use it. I used 15, I used 16, I used 17, I used, okay, I didn't use 18, I used 19, then 20, 21, 22, 23. And currently, we are in 24. And I think 25 should be out this year. So you see the progress I've made in using the softwares. Now, uh, this is clearly just to tell you that you can do it. Even though you might find yourself in an environment where it's restrictive or your institution says it's paramount that you use hand to draw. Don't give up. Don't give up. That's the requirement of the institution. Go ahead and use it. But you see, if you do not develop yourself with the skills in demand, you are just preparing yourself to be an obsolete entity. So, that being said, I'm going to be giving us uh, tips on how to do things in stages in Archicad and uh, I believe that it's going to help a whole lot of uh, students who would be watching me here